Hey guys, I'm going to do a house tour video. I thought it would be kind of neat to show you guys what my house looks like. I live in Costa Rica, so I live in a typical Costa Rican style house. So if you want to get an idea of what a typical Costa Rican style house looks like, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm standing in my doorway and I'm looking directly into my living area. So this is what my living room looks like. A house is not big by any means. Um, it's on the larger end, I guess you could say, for a typical Costa Rican style house, especially because our house is pretty open, open concept. So this is our living room, and then I'm going to pan over here, and as you can see, that opens up into a dining area. We have our little entry table over here, a place where we put our keys and some decorative accents. And then that opens up into our kitchen. And again, our kitchen is pretty small. I've done a video on our kitchen, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail. But when this house was being built, it was not built as efficiently as I would have liked because we weren't here for the building process. We were still in Boston. So there isn't a lot of storage space in the kitchen, but I make it work. Um, I tend to reorganize things just to make it a little bit more efficient. So this is our kitchen and this is the hallway leading down to the bathrooms and the bedrooms. But here is another look at our living room and this is the brand new sectional couch that we just bought. We picked this couch out and we all absolutely love it. It's so beautiful and it's perfect for this space because it's not too big, but it fits all of us. So love, love, love this couch. And because we got the couch recently, I have been doing a lot of redecorating and reorganizing to kind of make the house look a little bit more spacious, a little bit brighter, um, a little bit prettier, and just to freshen up the area. So this is our living room, that's our entertainment center. Um, I'm going to do some redecorating in here. I wanna get some new curtains. I wanna get a new coffee table because this one's pretty old. And I wanna get a bigger area rug. But yeah, this is our main living area. And then down here, we have this big open window that opens into our all-purpose room. So I'm gonna show you that next. So this is our all-purpose room, and I've already done a video on this room. So this room serves as an office space. So that's our office area over there. That's where my husband does all his editing. And if he has to work from home, that's where he works. We have a futon in here that provides us with a lot of extra seating. And then also it gives us some extra space for storage underneath. And then when we have company over, this can open up into a futon bed. So that works. In this area over here, we have my kids' guitars, some filming equipment for my husband, the kids' lunch bags more school supplies, games. This area over here houses most of our books, some coloring books for the kids, games, and some art supplies. I have my little pegboard that I keep a lot of important paperwork for the kids from their school. This is the toy area, the kids' backpacks. And then in this window, we keep a lot of their artwork. And then behind the door, I have this little command center where I keep a lot of their school schedules and any other important information. Some storage behind the door and then this three-tiered shelf, we keep a lot of paperwork and some more office supplies. All right, so that is our all-purpose room. And I am so very thankful that we have this extra space because I said our house is not that big. So the extra room really came in handy for us as a large family. Okay, so this is our hallway leading down to the bedrooms and the bathroom. I just have 
some pictures hanging on the wall. And then the first room is my toddler's room. I've done a couple of videos on this room already. Um, this room used to be our office. So we converted it into a bedroom for our youngest. This is his bed. That's my nursing pillow. It's not going to stay there. Over here we have his laundry basket and trash can. We have his floor mat. I just put in this unit right here. Um, it provides with extra storage and the need for his toys. And then just a couple of knickknacks up top. And then in the corner, some books, some stuffed animals, more knickknacks. And that's where our internet router is because, like I said, this used to be the office. And then this is his closet. Up top, I have some storage. And then I just kept whatever was on the walls when this was an office the same because I like the way it was and it's just pictures of his siblings so I thought it would be all right to have it in here this sign I made for his first birthday and then this area I actually just recently changed out and I made a Pluto play area for him so I thought that would be neat and then this little hanging section where I keep his little book bag his towel and then over here, I just put this car's decal on the wall to bring in um, some more, I don't know, decorative touches. And then behind the door, I have my bag up there and then some of his sweaters behind the door. This is the kids' bathrooms. I think I've done a video on their bathroom, so I'm not gonna go into too much details. I mean, there's not much to say. It's just your standard bathroom typical Costa Rican style bathroom I do want to add a shelving or a storage unit above the toilet um, so that'll come but for now this is what their bathroom looks like this is my daughter's bedroom she's nine years old I've done a video on her bedroom this is what it looks like she has the princess decor and it's been like that since she was a baby um, she did pick out the wall color a couple years ago so her room is painted pink this is my seven-year-old's bedroom well he's gonna be eight next month um, it's just really simply decorated this used to be my older son's bedroom and then a couple years ago we made an addition and built him a separate bedroom so his bedroom is over there. I'm not going to go in. He's in there right now. But I've, I think I've shown his bedroom already. So this is my 7-year-old's bedroom. His toy area over here. And his bookshelf. And his desk. And then his bed. Spider-Man bedding. And then some more toys. And his stuffed animals. So this is his bedroom. Room, I think I'm going to show you in this house tour is mine and my husband's bedroom it would be considered the master bedroom except it's not really that master because it's actually pretty small but we make it work so this is our bedroom this is our bed above our bed we just have a painting and the candle holder my jewelry organizer our closet we took off the doors a couple years ago um, it is a tiny tiny closet and it really doesn't work for us so in the upcoming future pretty soon we're actually going to extend our bedroom and we're going to make a walk-in closet so i'm super excited for that i cannot wait so here is the bed again our tv I just actually added this section. This is the table that used to be in my toddler's room and it works so much better in here. I needed extra storage space, especially for all my planner supplies. And this works great too because it's actually right in front of our window. So I can bring my makeup in here and I can do my makeup. I have a stool under there for that reason so I can sit and kind of just relax and plan and do whatever I want so this is what my desk is looking like um, I keep the books from the library right over here this is the book I'm reading this week which is the Hobbit super excited and I just have a couple of knickknacks over here um, some storage under there 
and then our bedside table where I keep some jewelry and just a couple other knickknacks and then in that cabinet I keep some um, gift items and um, like mementos from my kids so this is our bedroom right off our bedroom or right in our bedroom we have the ensuite which would be considered the master bath again it's not very big but we are so 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 thankful that we actually have our own bathroom separate from the kids so that's really nice it's just a shower and um, I have this shelving area over the toilet um, that we keep a lot of our products on and then the sink area so that is our bathroom. It's not really all that exciting. All right, so I wanted to show you again. This is just a view from our hallway um, into our main area. So that's what that looks like. Okay, so I am gonna show you my laundry room since I'm showing you what a typical Costa Rican house looks like. This is what a typical Costa Rican laundry room looks like. So it's not accessible from inside my house. I have to actually go out into the carport. So I kind of relate that to like going to the basement. If you have a basement laundry room, this is what this feels like to me, even though we don't have basements here. But this is our laundry room and it's pretty spacious. I actually use it um, to store a lot of things. So it acts as our laundry room and our storage room as well. So over here I have this unit. It has a lot of storage underneath and some drawers up top. And then I also have like a shelf up top as well that I use for storage. So it's pretty spacious. I really, really like it. I just wish that it was attached to our house so that I didn't have to go out to get in. All right, guys, so that is my house tour of what a typical Costa Rican house kind of sort of looks like. Obviously, every house is different and um, configured differently and set up differently and obviously decorated differently. And um, when I say typical Costa Rican style house, I mean like houses that are typically built in Costa Rica, not modeled after American style homes or European style homes. Just your typical Costa Rican style house that efficiently or functionally works for a family. Not, nothing extra, no bells and whistles, nothing like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. If you watch this video, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.